What is going on? And welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode. And friends, well, as you can see, I'm clearly not in the studio, and that can only mean one thing a field trip took place. And many of you know that have been following me for a while may know I'm a car geek. I absolutely love cars. Now, back in the day, I used to go to a lot of cars and coffees, and cars and coffees, what make these so such an amazing experience is you're smoking and joking, talking to people that really enjoy their vehicles and really invest a lot into their vehicles. But clearly, we have no cars here. And while trucks and coffee is, I think somebody else is using it online, we're going to go with it anyways, but the coffee kind of went a little while back. It's uh, coming on to noon here, but we're going to own it. We're going to go with it. So friends, I'd like to introduce you to Art Haddad. Art, thank nice you very you. much. It's great to see you here. Now, Art, before we get going with all the good stuff here, if you can take a minute, share with the listeners a little bit about who you are. Sure thing. My name is Art Haddad. I live in Redlands, California. Married, three wonderful children, all grown up with a granddaughter. Now, love the off-road, love nature. Thank you for sharing that with us. Now, can you share with us a little bit about this Jeep behind us? Yeah, definitely. It's a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Um, hardly anything stock. Now stop that. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite the beast. And we're going to be talking about these mods here in a moment. But first, if we could do, if we can magically jump in the Wayback Machine and go back to the day, the very morning, Art, that you yeah. decided to pick up this truck, what was the original inspiration for doing well, so? Alex, I remember that great. I, I remember it very, very well. I remember saying to myself, I need to get out more. I need to get out into nature. I need to spend more time with family, friends. Just get away. What better vehicle to do that in than the Jeep? And when I saw the Gladiator, I said, that's a different Jeep. That's they really did a great job with these things. Yeah. Now, before we go jumping into some of the mods with this here, because clearly you've done a lot to this here. Yeah. When people generally set up their, their rigs, they're usually going one of two directions or sometimes even a hybrid. Would you say this is more set up as a rock crawler or as a overlanding rig? Great question, great question. For me, it's more of both. It's that hybrid. I can do anything, anytime, anywhere. I don't have to think about it. Let's talk about the mods. And we pointed out a moment ago, clearly you've done a lot to this. Correct. Walk us through some of the mods that you've done to this thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's start with the simple stuff. Um, no suspension is stock. So uh, I got uh, Dana 60s on there, 538 gears. I got King, um, King off-road shocks with coilovers from Rebel Off-Road. Um, Terraflex long arm suspensions. John Curry's anti-rock system on the front. Bumpers are completely swapped out. KC lights across the board. Eye camper. Um, heavy duty axles. You'd have to talk to Matt to get the specs on the axles, but I went beefed on that. Um, it's got a six and a half inch lift right now with 40 inch tires and black rhino wheels. Nitto tires. I don't have to mention that. Thinking about doing more, but um, any rocks, the bumpers, the worn winch, the KC's, um, S Pod. Geez, what more can I say? Now, when you first you picked this up, you bought this new? Brand spanking new. What was the first mod that you did to this? Oh! <laughs> um, gotta admit, lift, tires, and wheels. Well, that's not really one, but that's kind of a combo. They all work together. They all work together. Did that's you start off with, now what size are these tires again? These are 40s on there right now, needle, needle grapplers. Did you start with the 40s on it when you picked it up? No, I actually started with 35s. <laughs> a three and a half inch lift from Metal Cloak. Wow, so did you go from 35s to the 40s? I sure did. That's a big jump. And swapped out the Metal Cloak for um, the Terraflex and never looked back. Because with the move from the 35s, with the 35, you're safe to use pretty much stock everything from Jeep underneath there, correct? Right. When you move to the 40s, because of the obviously larger weight and all that yes. other fun stuff, you had to do a lot more underneath that. So that's meaning, making this a much big jump to there. Yeah, definitely. So already having the UD, UD60s on there, the Dana UD60s with the um, 538 gears, the, the one additional thing I needed to do was PSC steering, which is what I did. Wow. So I swapped out the whole steering for PSC, and now it's just like butter. 
moving the wheels around. Damn, Art, so when you jump in, you jump in. <laughs> gonna do something, do it right the first time. <laughs> Indeed. So, ta we were talking about these mods here. So if you can kind of singly pull out one mod out of all those that you've done on here, which one would you say has had the greatest impact on how you use this Jeep? Great question. <laughs> Hard to answer because everything I've done on here, no, I got the answer for you. The rock slides. Gotta have the rock slides because that allows my wife to easily get into my vehicle to allow me to spend more money on my vehicle to get it even better than where, where it is today. So it's gotta be the rock slides. I happen to agree with you. They are absolutely amazing. So if you could do over any mods on your truck, is there a mod on here that you would not do again? Uh, as much as I love it, I have to say the amount of weight that I've added onto there with just the heavy duty uh, metal that's on there for instance, my, my bumpers, my half rack, they're, they're really heavy metal and they're mm -hmm. solid parts and I don't want to diss them at all because I love the guys over there at Rebel. They're awesome, but they are heavy. So that's the only thing that I would like to suggest that I would do differently. Everything else I'd love. Now, when I look at this, I'm like, Jesus, what else could you possibly do to it? What plans do you have for it? Um, a couple more things. Um, obviously, I'm going up to 42, if not 43 inch tires with 22 inch wheels. Um, Got to get the rear anti-rock um, sway bar in there because I got the fronts, but I need the rears as well. And, geez, I'll hold off on anything else right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my wife to hear about this stuff before I can actually talk to her. Okay, so now, friends, we're going to do a what's called a speed round. There's going to be five simple questions here. I don't know whether they're simple, but we're going to do five questions here, and these are going to be quick, snappy answers. Let's do it. How often do you take this truck out? Often as possible. Not a good answer. How often do you take this truck out? Every day. There we go. I love that answer. What is the strangest thing that you've seen on the trails? A bear. Not strange, it's natural, but a bear. If any mod could magically appear on your truck right now today, no cost out of your pocket, what mod would that be? V8. Nice. Do you have a off-road pet peeve? Yes, the pet peeve would be people not knowing what the hell they're trying to do off-road. Is there such thing as a perfect tire size? No. Final question, and it's a hot one. So many of the viewers out there may be watching this video and thinking about getting started in overlanding or off-roading and picking up a vehicle, but not quite sure where to start with the modifications. What advice can you give to them? You know, it's a, it's a great question again. I mean, you're full of great questions. What can I say? <laughs> the, uh, the mods aren't as important as the purpose to what you're trying to build. I'd say start off with what your purpose is. Um, and, and remember, based on that purpose, prioritize how you get there from here, what's most important, what's least important, and the last but definitely not least, be patient. You're very Mods cool. lead to one thing to another, and you're going to run into bumps. Just be patient. Enjoy life. Take your time. Make a mental blueprint, begin to build, and keep focused on it. That's it. Art, thank you very much for joining us here. And friends, that is it. Now it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because, hey, we really do appreciate it. So if you found some value with this video or just simply want to do us a solid, please consider hitting that like button, the subscribe button, and hit all notifications so therefore every single time that we come out with a video, hell, just like the one that you just watched, YouTube does its whole notification thing and they're gonna let you know. And friends, that is it here for us today. So we're gonna turn off these cameras. You get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.